All right, nice one. To finish off, I'm just going to do a quick, quick fire with you about some of your UFC colleagues. Okay, so just answer the first answer that comes into your head. So, who's the hardest hitter in the UFC? Mina Kim. Who is the best striker? I gotta say, Mina Kim. <laughs> who's the funniest? The funniest? Ooh, I gotta say maybe uh Derek Lewis. That's a good call. Who's the most annoying? The most annoying fighter, maybe, maybe, uh, I'd say maybe Sugar Sean O'Malley. Why do you say Sugar Sean? I don't know. I just, you know, I, maybe I'm just hating on the dude a little bit, but, you know, he just kind of, he kind you know, it depend, if he beats Peter Yawn, you know, I'm with him. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I just kind of felt he's a little bit overrated, kind of like uh, Patty Pimlet. You know what I mean? Just a little bit overrated. Who is the hottest fighter? Ooh, the hottest fighter in in the UFC. Um, I I was kind of, I I'm really bad with names. She just followed me on Instagram, but that once she lost her UFC debut at one forty five, she was twerking on the last card. Okay, cool. Uh, you know who I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. I forget her yeah. name. I've yeah. forgotten her name as well. I got her on Instagram here, but I don't want to leave the link here. But I definitely she caught my attention. I should know the name. Who would make the best movie star? I think, you know, um, I think uh, either Derek Lewis or Conor McGregor, because I think they're just naturally that funny. And who would you most like to have dinner with? Who would I most like to have dinner with in the UFC? Probably Dana White. That's a good call. Who's the best dresser? The best dresser? Um, I'm going to give that to my boy, Kamaru Usman. He, he definitely brings out the African culture. That's something that um, my grandpa's been asking me to do a lot. You know, he made a nice, nice uh, a piece for me, a nice full Nigerian piece with our family colors in it. And I was actually going to wear it. And I sat down and the crotch ripped. I I know. Know it, but yeah, the whole crotch ripped and I didn't have time to get it sewed up. But yeah, I'm going to give it to, to Kamaru Usman. Uh, I really like the way he keeps it very cultural. And I respect that. That's one for next time then. Who would you want by your side in a street fight? Um, in a street fight, who would I want by my side? I think the Diaz brothers would be G. Um, and I think I'd also like to have um, maybe uh, Israel Adesanya as well. That's a good shout. And who would you want in your corner? Are we talking fighters? Yeah. Uh, in, in my corner... You know, uh, well, Izzy just hit me up. I'd love to have Izzy in my corner. He stays, he stays connected to me. He stays hitting me up, and uh, Kamal Usman, and, and Leon Edwards, because I'm half Jamaican too. So those are my brothers. That's why I was kind of split on that fight. Everyone was like, "Who you going for?" But I'm half Nigerian and half Jamaican, so I, I wasn't calling those sides. But those are the three guys I'd love in my corner. Who's the best wrestler? The best wrestler. So far, I don't know. This hazmat guy looks like he's got some serious wrestling. Um, I might, I might have to give it to him for now. Who would be the most fun on a night out? The most fun on a night out? I would say the Diaz brothers. I, I think, I think they know how to party for real. Who's the biggest villain? The biggest villain right now. I think the biggest villain's probably uh, Probably Hazmat, to be honest. He's 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 he seems like he's rubbing rubbing everybody the wrong way. I saw that little that little skit with him and uh, Paula Costa. So um yeah. And who is your dream fight? Dream fight, me and Alexander Volkanovsky. I would love to I'd love to get a piece of him and and, and just you know showcase my skills because I really think I match up well for him. Me and Hakeem, maximum respect. Good to see you, man. Good luck. Thank you, man. I appreciate it.